Hi, I'm Ryan from Ridiculous Ryan, and I'm here with a new video for y'all. So, in hide and, watching Hide and Man right now, everyone's trying to get, and I'm going to paint on. This guy, toilet paper. I'm going to be painting two rolls of TP today. What? Everyone's trying to get it. You should be using it for its real purpose, which is, you know, cleaning up after you do your business. But I'm going to be painting on it because why not paint on something that's in such high demand that people need? Why not paint on it? So I want this to become a new trend. So if you guys just make sure you email me your finished products. Make sure to share this with all toilet paper companies, crafty YouTubers, and make sure they tag me. I want this to be a trend. And I also want to say thank you to my 42 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for sharing your love with me. If you have not subscribed, please make sure to do so so I, you can help me reach my goal of 100 subscribers by July 11th, 2020. We are almost there and I need your help to do so. Even if you have not subscribed but you watch my videos, maybe think about doing that. I'd really appreciate it and you'll be sharing your love with me. Now, without further ado, let's get right on to this video. I am back and I'm ready to paint toilet paper. Woohoo! So this one's going to be a donut. So, I'm going to be taking paint, but white paint. White paint for white toilet paper. I'm um, actually doing white because especially the top of the roll is super absorbent. So credit to this toilet paper company because it is so absorbent and sucked up so much paint <laughs> that was what it was like it was sucking up so much of the paint but now that it's dry and hardened and sucked up so much of the white i'm going to go in with the color so i'm taking this like tan color which is actually going to be the dough of the donut or the actual donut itself i guess yeah i guess the dough dough nut yeah the dough of the donut so I'm going to paint that all of this brown color, and I did mint, and I did not put it in this video, but after it was dry, I did go in with some darker brown and light brown and kind of dry brushed it to make it look a little toasty and a little bit more detail. Then I go in with white to make the glaze, and you will see later I'm actually going to go in with neon pink, but I used Craftsmart brand, and it's so transparent, and I wanted it to be a neon pink and not a dirty brown pink so i did a white so that the pink really comes through and it's not see-through and you cannot see the brown through the pink so look how bright look how bright that pink is now just wait until after it dries it is so much brighter so yeah just enjoy this music selection selected by yours truly while i finish painting this donut okay I hope you like your music. Let's use some Play-Doh and just rip that off. Um, but I'm going to be using Play-Doh to make sprinkles. It's orange in my yellow. Why I want yellow, not orange. So I take a little bit of yellow, blue. There's a different little shade of blue in there I saw too. Um, some green. And then last but not least, pur what is in that purple? It's like fuzzy and why am I touching it? And I just smelled it. Okay. So I'm going to go back to that little shade of blue, I guess. I don't even know if it's blue or purple, but I'm using it for sprinkles, so yummy. <laughs> I'm going to roll those out into snakes, like you could see me doing now. And then once they are dry, I'm going to take an exacto knife and always be careful when crafting and using sharp objects. And then I'm going to cut those into small sprinkle shapes. Then you can store those away for later. I'm just putting them in a mint container. And look how pink that is. Super pink. So I'm going to be mixing different shades of that pink just to do some contrast and shading and more brightness. And I'm painting on my hand, which is actually on purpose, but be painting on the wall. If you guys saw that before, good job. You're very observant. I didn't mean to do that, so I'm wiping it off with my colorful hand. And I actually meant to paint on my hand because it was... A clean surface where if I did it on the paint palette, it would get more color in it and more paint, which I do not want. I want to just have like a dry brush to really like just make it look kind of, I don't know. It, I just wanted a cool effect. So I, it was basically the only clean spot. And I'm just going to keep doing this. I actually worked on this for 
so long and I'm pink on my hand again. Great. But like I was saying, this probably took me like 30 minutes to just try to get this and I'm still not in love with it. But I just had to stop at some point. So I stopped. Like you'll see at the end. I'm going to put all the finished donuts at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm going in with some white. This is how I stopped my thing. Just taking the tool and adding some highlights. I just thought just to give it a little bit more detail and make the glaze look shiny. But I don't know if I'm doing these highlights right. I'm not really sure, but I think they turned out fine. And then just, as you can see, school glue blowing on the donut, uh, sprinkles, not donuts. Then some Mod Podge just to seal it all together like any project I do on this channel. And while I am at have a minute, I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. I'm at 42 subscribers as I am filming this. Please help me reach my birthday goal of 100 subscribers by July 11th, 2020. I really hope you guys could help me do it. And now, before I start the next one. As I'm still just painting on white paint, saying before I'm doing some cool tricks, make sure you press that subscribe button to help me out. And this one really needed white paint, not just to make like a hard surface and be absorbed, but also because I use this for the thumbnail. So this is a thumbnail aftermath, but I think it was worth it because I got a cool video and you clicked on it. Now I'm taking some blue, white, and purple and painting the a layer on. But, I didn't tell you what this one is yet, so do you think you have any guesses? Close! You are so close, it's actually an under the sea theme. So I'm painting three fourths of the top blue with that blue color. Then I'm mixing up, oh, who saw that giant spill? Oh my goodness, because I keep the paints that are empty upside down, and apparently you should not do that with the white. It seemed very liquidy that day. So I'm just going with pink, blue, purple to make a different shade like I did for the donut. And I didn't choose to turn off my camera when cleaning up the studio. And some more paint just spilled. Great. But I'm doing the same thing I did with the donut and just adding some shading and make this see like a little bit more realistic and big and colorful. So I'm just taking different shades of colors, blacks, blues, pinks, painting on my hand again, it appears. You know, painting on your hand, guys, is a great technique. And at the end, you end with a beautiful tie-dye masterpiece hand. I advise every one of you to do that. Don't do it, it's not good for your skin. Okay, and I am cleaning up again. As you can see, I was really into this and didn't even care what my workstation looked like. But I'm taking some more of that tan paint I used for the dough of the donut. Here we go again. Um, with the dough of the donut called, what is that called? Is it the dough of the donut? Or is it, I don't know. But I'm taking some darker brown and yellow and adding some contrast and make the sand look like little molecules and rocks and particles. Because I think that's more important for the sand than the sea, especially. So I really want to get a lot of the detail into the sand so it didn't just look like a lot of brown. And I actually really think I did that well. And more again with the paint on your hand, you guys should try it out one day. Um, but now I'm taking some green and painting on the seaweed. And if you guys have any video suggestions or try any of these things out for yourself, I definitely want to see it and I might even feature it at the end of my videos. So you could email me at rr y a n business 3 at gmail.com and i'll be sure to respond and even post it in a video and now once again with the shading basically all the everything in this video is shaded i'm trying something new out i barely did it before so this is kind of like a trial and error so i make lighter colors of the green using yellow and brown paint and just try to make the seaweed look a little bit more realistic, which I think it did. I personally love the way this one turned out. I think it turned out 100% better than the donut. But you will have to wait till the end to see what they both turned out like to see if you think so too. Now I'm taking some orange to paint the fish. 
I also used pink to paint starfish, purple to paint fish and shells, um, and yellow to paint a small little seahorse and fish. This seahorse, I do not really like the way it looks now, but I cleaned it up at the end, so do not worry, because, like, what is that right now? Like, actually, what is that? I also did some shading on those. And now I'm just going to be taking a little bit of black to add eyes and the smaller details. Now, the big reveal. Let me know if you guys like the way this one turned out. I absolutely love this one. I think it's so cool. And if you guys want to try it out, like I said, make sure you email me. And let me know if you guys think I should do more of these. If you guys like this, I will definitely do more because I think it was so much fun. And for a cool transition into the donut. I forgot to mention I did add some polka dots on just because I think it needs a little bit of more color on the sides. If you do this, I do not recommend painting on the top because it was so much harder and absorbed so much paint. But let me know how you guys think I did this. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and help me.